All right, thanks, Bobby. And don't breathe the sigh of relief yet. 87 days, right, until hurricane season is over. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford is here with me. Bobby's going to talk about it in a little bit. There's some other tropical storms that are out there. But, Liz, you're already seeing people post on social media. They're getting rid of their hurricane supplies. I know you can't even believe it, but you do need to check out some of these comments <laughs> that we came across. OK, so this one, the only thing that is turning is my stomach from eating all these hurricane I can actually supplies. Attest to that. <laughs> Don't do that. Then this person said on my way to return them. It's just not a good idea. I kind of feel like you're taunting Mother Nature a little bit doing this, but instead of actually returning them, there are some ways to store them and keep them safe. Right? Yeah, so let's kind of talk through this. OK, so two things on everybody's emergency list water and food, right? So unopened bottled water can usually be stored for a really long time, almost indefinitely. So you just need to keep it in the right environment. So keep your water in your pantry instead of in your car, or in your garage, where it could be exposed to chemicals. You could also have too much sunlight or heat hitting those bottles. Now the National Science Foundation says if you suspect your water has gone bad, you can just boil it and still use it in an emergency. OK, so what about all that canned food? Well, the Canned Food Alliance says in general, most canned food has a shelf life of two years. It's best to store it in your cabinet or pantry anywhere where it has that moderate temperature, 75 degrees or so. Now listen to this. Publix sent us a statement. It says if a customer chooses to return perishable items they've purchased, a refund would be issued, but we must discard the items because we cannot ensure that the cold chain has been maintained. We cannot risk potential time and temperature abuse. All right, so here's what I want to do, everybody. Let's recap what I just went over, right? Number one, we still have 87 days left in the hurricane season with the peak next week. So you could end up needing the supplies you bought for Dorian. Number two, even if you don't use those supplies this season, they'll probably still be good for next year. And number three, stores are probably going to throw away returned foods and water. What a waste. If you really want to get rid of those supplies, consider donating them. Some of you told us you want to donate your supplies to the Bahamas. Well, we have ways you can do that on WTSP.com. What a good piece of advice.